Hi guys, I'm sitting here in front of my house. It's a beautiful day and I have an important story and message to share with you. Um, but first I'm going to do our rituals. So I already have my candle lit. It's a real candle. And I have my singing bowl here. So I'm going to play the singing bowl while we quietly relax and reflect and prepare ourselves to be mindful about the story that we're gonna hear. And then I'm even gonna give myself a spray. I got a new rose petal spray, so I'm just gonna give my little myself a little spray. Okay, and now we're ready for our story. So let's check it out. He loves little children. Look at Jesus here with his arms around the small child. You can tell that Jesus really cares for little ones. The men watching are his apostles. What is Jesus saying to them? Let's find out. Jesus and his apostles have just come back from a long trip. Along the way, the apostles had an argument amongst themselves. So after the trip, Jesus asks them, what were you arguing about on the road? Really, Jesus knows what the argument was about, but he asks the question to see if the apostles will tell him. The apostles don't answer, because on the road, they were arguing about which one of them is the greatest. Some apostles want to be more important than the others. How will Jesus tell them it is not right to want to be the greatest? He calls over a little child and stands the child in front of them all. Then he says to his disciples, I want you to know this for certain. Unless you change and become like young children, you will never get into God's kingdom. The greatest person in the kingdom is the one who becomes like this child. Do you know why Jesus said this? Well, very little children do not worry about being greater or more important than others are. So the apostles should learn to be like children in this way and not quarrel about being great or important. There are other times too when Jesus shows how much he cares for little children. A few months later, some people bring their children to see Jesus. The apostles try to keep them away, but Jesus tells his apostles, let the children come to me and do not stop them because the kingdom of God belongs to people like them. Then Jesus takes the children in his arms and blesses them. Isn't it great to know that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Through the day into the night, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Yep, he loves you. I love you. And there are so many people in this world who love you and to whom you are important. And you're important to Jesus and there's no reason to quarrel. There's no reason to fight with others over who's the best because Jesus loves all of us, no matter who we are or the mistakes that we've made or 
the bad things that we might have been through. And so I call you to walk like Jesus in the world, knowing that he loves you and he's proud of you. And then spreading your love, sharing your love. And right now that might mean just loving the people who you're living with right now. But also maybe writing some letters or writing some emails or making some TikTok videos. <laughs> However you can to, to show love it right now, which is very needed. And I can't wait until I get to see you again and show you how I love you uh, in person and how important you are to me. In the meantime, stay healthy, be safe, and remember that you are loved. Bye guys.